This is Captain Edward John Smith. Smith took the Titanic on her maiden voyage in April 1912. He lived at number 34 Wind Road, Southampton with his wife, Sarah Eleanor, and his young daughter, Helen. They moved to Southampton in 1907 and lived in a red brick twin gabled house. So let's pop down and find out if it's still there. And unfortunately Smith's house no longer exists, but it looked like these two houses and stood right here. It did survive the war, but was finally pulled down in 1977 and replaced with these flats called Cheltenham Court. The houses next door took some bomb damage, as did quite a few houses down this street. But you know what this channel's like, and a little bit later we'll do some comparisons of then and now pictures. There's so many stories about what happened to Smith's house. A lot of people say it was bombed during the war and just uh, demolished, but I have got photos of the house in 1950, and it's pretty much standing. And the houses next door have been demolished, but Smith's wasn't. So let's take a little trip over there. Um, and see if we can get inside and have a look at this memorial plaque and I'll read it to you. Where that white door is there is roughly around where his front door originally would have been. Okay, this reads, Cheltenham Court stands on the site of the house once occupied by Commander Edward John Smith who was the captain of the Titanic and went down with his ship. The house called Lindell was pulled down in 1977 to make way for these flats. It's actually great to be here where Captain Smith's house was about, you know, all about this Titanic and this big iconic story. But they moved into this house in 1907. If we just go to the end of the driveway here, I'll give you a comparison of what it looked like in 1910. Let's get the white line up. This is a picture from 1910. Looks much better back there, doesn't it? No cars or no traffic or anything. This next one is from the 1940s, um, after the bombings of some neighbouring houses. Although it has been said people say that this is Captain Smith's house but I'm not so sure. These houses have quite extensive bomb damage and if you look at these next photographs from the 1950s from an aerial view, Smith's house is quite complete and the houses to the left of him are demolished and the houses to the right are still there today and Captain Smith's house is just there of course called Cheltenham Court today. 